And I see how we alone Look how hard we try Nobody here we cry Them not care for you You will be alone Been through the storm When the rain is on We saw no one We alone Yeah We alone We alone We alone So <laughs> Big up Misha and Ziggy um, I've been watching you guys For probably about Four years Or so And um you guys are inspiring i also love the realness of you guys video you guys don't create drama for likes you know shares and all that stuff you guys are just real and down to earth and i know i've been saying that um i'm shy so i was like you know what let me get out of my comfort zone and you know send in something so go on big up on myself later welcome back to the channel guys in today's vlog we're going to be doing fried chicken so since you guys are loving the cooking videos um chef mike decided you know why not let me share my secret with the people then so today we're going to be doing some fried chicken because i saw i remember someone asking how does my dad do his fried chicken? What does he use? And how does he get to get it to look so crispy and nice? So, before we jump into this video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever we post a new vlog. Let's jump right into this video. Got some chicken right here. We have parsley. Added some chili flakes. A little bit of nor. Chicken sauce. Some chicken seasoning. And the secret is buttermilk. And the secret to this is buttermilk. So that white stuff that you're seeing is actually buttermilk. We're just going to mix it up. And then we're going to put it in the oil. This has been marinating. And honestly, if you want your chicken to be like juicy and flavorable, it's really nice to let it marinate. I feel like when you marinate, it does make a difference. Um, the oil is, right, is heating up right now. One of my mistakes I always do when I'm making fried chicken is I turn the stove too high. So then you see, it doesn't really give um, the chicken enough time to cook on the inside. My dad showed me what to do. You kind of have to know how to gauge the stove. And you got to check it every now and then. So, Oh yeah, and my dad also covers his fried chicken, which does make a difference. It helps to cook the inside, right? Yes. So, that's a tip for you guys. So here's my chicken into the flour. Did you put anything in the flour? This parsley flakes and a little bit of salt. But this is already seasoned well. Yeah. So it's very simple. Some people use eggs and I've seen some people use frosted flakes to give it more of a crunchy taste. Oh. Or they buy those stuff from the grocery store to give it like that extra crunch. But you like breadcrumbs? Yeah, breadcrumbs. I don't like breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs burn easy. It's buttermilk, flour, Good enough. If you want to have it extra crispy, just kind of double dip it a couple ways. I would dip it back in the buttermilk and then back in the flour again. Then you get like that extra extra crispy. So right now I'm putting the stove to medium. You can also drop a pepper in it just to give it a different flavor. It's not gonna give it like a spicy flavor. It's more aromatic. Yeah. It's really nice when you do that. Just make sure your hot is make sure your hot as well. Make sure your oil is nice and hot. And it doesn't have to be hot, hot, hot because sometimes you gotta turn it up to turn it down. Okay. If you guys look on the chicken, you can already see it has like those little pieces to give it that extra crunchiness. It's right here. Yeah. Yeah. Now I can cover my chicken. So this is a secret tip number two. Cover your pot. Anyways, I'm just here opening some packages that I got. I got some stuff from Sephora that I personally ordered. Um, I ordered. 
two stuff from the brand called Ordinary for my skin. Cause I've been changed, I changed up my skin routine. So like a lot of stuff or stuff that you saw me use in my previous skincare routine video, I don't use those no more. Um, I don't know if you guys follow Hi Hiram or something like that. It's like literally all over TikTok, all over um, YouTube and stuff like that. But some of the stuff that he suggest suggested, I kind of did my own research, tried it out myself, and it's been working for me. So I'm trying to lean to more products that are not like scented or have all these fruity stuff in it. So like you know, like Saint Ives and. Um, there was some other stuff that I was using that was just not good. So I switched over as well to to this brand. And then I got, is this mine? I got another package here, but I think I know what this is. I think this is stuff from Lovely Wholesale. Every time I talk, I'm literally just breathing in the, the spray. Yeah, so this is a bunch of stuff. That I got from Lovely Wholesale. So this is going to be another try-on haul that I'll do. So it's been less than 10 minutes. We're just going in and turning them. They're not ready to come out yet. But we're just giving them a flip. So nice and golden they look already. And this is it without, we didn't add no extra crumbs, nothing. Very simple. Okay, well, I'll pull it for another five minutes or so. We're good. <laughs> I'm talking to the people that look. Look, Nana. You wanna go outside? I took your side and you fell asleep. Huh? I took your side and you fell asleep. Huh? <laughs> I took your side and you fell asleep. Say hi. <laughs> Here, hold it. Hold the camera. Okay. Hi, get him a kiss, get him a kiss. Mwah! Oh, nice. Hey, 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 hey. Go, Nyla. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? That's like her new thing. Huh? Mm-hmm. Dad, dad. What you doing? What you doing? What's that? What's that? Where's Dada? Hi, Dada. Hi Ziggy! Hi Ziggy! <gasps> Who's that? Where's Dada? Look at her, she's looking for him. <laughs> <laughs> He's not here, Oh, sorry. He soon come. Huh? He soon come. Huh? Dada, dad, dad. You wanna go outside? Huh? Outside? Ba. Outside. Ball. Good girl. Ba. Ball. What's you? Blue. Oh, blue. Blue. Red. So this is the final result of the chicken. Nice and golden and crispy. Mmm. Sleeping, as I said before, hopefully you guys can hear me. We turned the fan off. You guys are gonna hear the lullaby in the background, but it's the only thing that keeps her comfort her while she's sleeping. I'm trying to edit this video to see how it looks. I did a try on haul, but <sighs> we'll see. I'm about to edit it right now to see if I like it or not. I'm currently here about to have some chicken soup. Mm. Nothing like a nice bowl of chicken soup. I haven't really been up too much lately. If you guys noticed, we kind of didn't upload a vlog in the last couple of days because I haven't been doing much. Um, but just chilling. And even sometimes we're chilling, we don't really pull up the camera because you know, you just, there's times when you just don't want the camera all up in your face. Z and I are supposed to be filming some, um, some videos for you guys, like some couple challenge, but we'll see how that goes. <laughs> He's currently at work. Should be home soon actually um but yeah like i said just here another boring day um yo shout out to everyone right now who's traveling i'm, I'm so jealous of you guys low-key because i can't wait to go on a plane just to go somewhere somewhere different like there's some places that you can go in ontario where like the beaches are nice they, they're like man-made beaches and the water is like clear but 
every time we try to plan to go to one like a weekend getaway it just never happens i don't know it just never happens but there is literally some beautiful places in ontario that i want to go and explore before the summer is over because once the summer's over you already know it's fall then it's winter and there's only so much you can do during those times and hopefully this winter we can actually go and do like some winter sports stuff because i snowboard and um those stuff so it'll be nice to actually go out this winter and do some winter stuff with ziggy because he didn't get to do that last year mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yo comment down below am i the only one yo a soup next day i can't eat it i hate the dumpling like I hate second day soup dumpling, I cannot eat it. Give me anything else in the soup but the dumpling. Let me know if I'm the only one. <laughs> so, two things. Make sure you guys are following my social media, our social media. Ziggy kind of had to restart his, so he hasn't been posting as he usually does, but follow us on our Instagram and Snapchat in the description box below. You'll find all of that. Follow me on Snapchat because guys, I'd be getting those Fashion Nova 50% off codes and you guys don't want to miss out on that. To me, I personally feel that when it comes to Fashion Nova, if you don't have a 50% off code, what are you doing? What are you doing? You literally can spend, like your basket can be a thousand dollars, have the 50% off code and you're getting it for 50%, so like $500. $500. Fashion Nova usually posts um, like 80% off codes, but let me tell you, that's just a trick. It makes no sense. Um, one time they had 80% off code and they had, I had a 50% off code and I'm like, let me see which one will give me the most discount. The 80% off code barely took off anything. The 50% now? Child. So yeah, make sure you guys follow me on my social media because anytime I get these codes, I usually post them. You don't want to miss out on this, I'm telling you. Secondly, usually we do our give back for the youth them um so it, this would have been our third year technically we did one before we left jamaica in january but we wanted to do a back to school one but with the whole coronavirus and traveling we're not really trying to do that right now um it's still kind of risky and we're not really trying to take that risk to be honest so i don't think i'm going to be doing that so i have two things i want to work on one of them i am working on right now i said i want to give back to the nurses um just because yo I can only imagine the stress they were going through during this whole COVID thing. They were promised so much things by the government and they never got it. So I said that I'm trying to raise money right now to get gift cards and hand it out to different nurses, whether it's a unit. Um, you know, unit will have like a lot of nurses or like somehow I have connections in the hospital because I have people that work there. So like it's fine getting it in there without me physically going there. But um, if you guys want to help out, definitely let me know i've had some people already contributed towards this even if it's five dollars a dollar it doesn't matter um you can check out the paypal down below or if you're in if you want to e-transfer you can do that as well because i know some people did that um but yeah i'm kind of excited for this i myself i'm a nurse so the little gestures the little thank yous really goes a long way um and i'm excited for this and then my second after i do this i'm going to be doing a give back for the homeless people because that's something i always want to do so that will be my next thing after that but baby steps i'm trying to like focus on one thing at a time i don't know like i don't know if this is my calling to always be giving back or helping those in need but i'm not saying i have it but the smallest gesture the little that you can do i'm gonna do it because god has been so good and always possible and yeah I, yeah i'm not even gonna get into this but god is good god is so good so if you guys want to contribute and help out with that just let me know you can also email me or just comment down below um and we can work something out but yeah i'm gonna go finish my soup because it's getting cold and um yeah i'll tune back in with you guys later <laughs> home from work. It's Friday. <laughs> Here. You good? Yeah, I'm tired. 
How was work? I know we're here wondering like where, what's going on. So Ziggy just got home from work. Hello. Say good night. Wow. Say good night. Say good night. Vlog is ending right here, guys. About to put Nala to bed, so I'll see you guys in the next vlog.